guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with the monthly makeup basket. It's been gone for about a year because I haven't really honestly been that inspired and the makeup launches kind of slowed down and I just fell out of it. So we are getting back into it today and this one might not be as full as normal. You gotta ease me back in uh, before I come in with like a hundred products for you. But these are products that I've either been loving over the past few months, some new things that I wanna test out, some things that you've requested to be reviewed. So let's go ahead and get started. So up top here, I have a combination of some sprays and some skincare and hair care. The skincare and hair care won't stay here, but I just wanted to put it here so that I could show it to you. Um, firstly, I've started using the Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Mist. I forgot how much I liked this. It has probably one of the best mists in town. It's so lightweight. It leaves absolutely no droplets on your face and it looks really good. Adds like just like it says a little bit of dew uh, and similar to this one actually from Benefit. This is the Professional Super Setter and this is their long lasting makeup setting spray but similar to the Fenty this has an insane mist. Really really beautiful and I really feel like it does kind of like what the pore pack professional line does what we expect it to do and really helps to kind of actually smooth the skin and make it look more um perfect or perfect depending on do they say that um this is the elf stay all night micro fine setting mist again we're clearly on the hunt for fine mists i've only used this probably two or three times so i need to keep testing it out because it seems like it could be a great more affordable option for a setting spray and then um something that's on the higher end sorry to like uh, jump my mouth in here um, this is the airbrush flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury and stay tuned i'm going to be doing a full face of charlotte tilbury soon because I love so many of her products, but I have yet to try this one. Then moving into some skincare, this is a new uh, SPF from Vichy. It's the Lift Af Active Specialist. This is an SPF of 30 and it's also an anti-aging cream. So it kind of does a little double duty and it's good for um, deeper skin. I don't find it leaves a white cast and it's not too heavy. Then from Dermalogica, they just launched this super fancy serum and it's in beautiful packaging. Um, this is the Dermalogica Smart Response Serum and it's supposed to be literally like it responds to what your skin needs at the time. So it responds to the skin's changing needs, um, addresses fine lines, wrinkles, brightens, soothes, hydrates, and has some really insane technology in there. So we will uh, have to see on that. At the drugstore, new from Indeed Labs. So excited to try this because I love retinol and I love Indeed. This is their retinol face. They also have an eye cream that launched and then I'm gonna be testing this out probably later tonight. This is the Yes to Tomatoes Detoxifying Mud Mask with Salicylic Acid to fight acne. And I don't have like breakouts, a lot of breakouts right now, but my skin is feeling a little bit congested. Also, lots of great drugstore skincare in here today, actually. Um, this is new from Neutrogena. This is part of their Bright Boost collection, or new to the Bright Boost collection. This is their um, Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. So it's got a really nice texture, similar to their moisturizer. It's lightweight and brightening. And then this is a really great kind of makeup remover slash cleansing kind of oil-ish. Um, this is the Honest Beauty Magic Gel to Milk Cleanser. They say it's a gel, but it almost emulsifies like an oil. Um, and I found I find this is a really great like first step for double cleansing. And then from Makeup Revolution, I picked this up in a Beauty Bay haul, which I'll link to down below. This is the SPF 30 Protecting Boost Normal to Oily Skin Moisturizer. And I was really intrigued by this because uh, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's fragrance free, but primarily it's for oily skin and has an SPF of 30. So that's really exciting. And for curls, this is something new that I've been trying, but have fallen in love with, even though it's um, on the newer side, but it's from Kerastase. It's the Curl Manifesto. Uh, gelé curl contour. It's got manuka honey and uh, ceramides in there, which I think is interesting. You see that a lot of the time in skincare, but now it's in for uh, curly hair. So, so far, so good. And I've tried a couple of things from this line and I've been impressed. And I love this color of packaging. Up next, I've got a bunch of complexion products in here. Firstly, I have the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I really love this. It's a nice, light, hydrating base, especially if I've done my, moist uh, my moisturizing and things like that, and then take a little bit of time to put on my makeup. It's just a nice, light base. It's got vitamin C in there, too, so it's got some brightening properties. It's hydrating. Then from Gucci Beauty, I absolutely love this primer from them. It's the... Um, Serum de Beauty. It's their Silk Priming Serum, and you can wear this on its own. You can wear it under makeup, and I gotta say, um, I was not a huge primer girl when I first got into YouTube, and then I remember the first primer that I really loved was the YSL Touche Claw 
primer. And I feel like I've tried a lot of really great luxury primers. I feel like luxury brands do primers well. So anyways, really enjoying that. Love the foundation too. This is the Kosas Concealer I have, speaking of, YSL Touche Clot. I found that, and I really have not ever played around with it a lot, and it's in some kind of fun limited edition packaging, so why not? The Quo Beauty Concealer, which I reviewed over the 12 Days of Foundation. Also reviewed this recently from KVD Beauty, their Good Apple Foundation. I was so impressed by that. Um, then I have the Tinted Moisturizer Oil-Free Natural Skin Perfector from Laura Mercier. You'll definitely see me reviewing this. I've been wearing it for the past couple of days. Uh, I reviewed this during the 12 Days of Foundation a while back. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. And in looking through some of my foundations, I realized that this expires um, in January. Never mind. It's expired. So I thought it was expiring in November. I thought there was another one there. Okay. And then <laughs> um, this one doesn't expire until 2023, so we're good. Um, I've got the uh, Smashbox Halo Healthy All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. I reviewed this, but I didn't have my proper shade at the time, so I'm playing around with a couple of shades. So right now I'm gonna try out tan. Powder drawer looking a little bit scarce here, but I have the Glossier Wowder, which is a powder I really love and really um, kind of took me by surprise. If you wanna see my Glossier review, again, I'll link that down below in G5, G7. Then for my under eyes, I'll be using the Laura Mercier Translucent in Banana. This is one of my favorite under eye powders. I picked this up during the Sephora sale from Danessa Myricks. It is the um, Evolution Powder, and I definitely need to test this out. I got it in the shade three, and I'm worried it has a little bit too much orange in it, but I think, similar to the Pat McGrath that looked like this, I think I'll actually end up loving it. And then from One Size Beauty, which is Patrick Starr's brand, I have his powder foundation. I've been using it to set my face lately and really loving it. I have Medium Dark 5R, which is actually Patrick's shade, and this is the Turn Up the Base powder foundation. So if you'd like a dedicated review on that, let me know, but so far so good as like a setting powder. Then in here, we have the creams drawer because cream products have just completely taken over and I'm trying to jump on board. So um, in here, I have the Beauty Blender, glass glow shine lighter i wanted to try this they sent it to me a while back and i'm like mm, maybe this is like that revlon rose glow thing that i really like that's almost like a clear highlighter i wanted to give this a chance again from ColourPop. i also smudged my freaking nail this morning uh this is the light sticks in the shade bullseye and i feel like i don't fully remember how i felt about this so i need to try that again Big, 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 huge fan of this NARS Casino Cream Bronzer. It's limited edition and exclusive to Nordstrom, I believe. But if you can get your hands on it, really nice if you have my skin tone. I was talking about this Fenty blush recently, and I bought it, and I don't think I ever even touched it. Let me see. Yeah, okay, I touched it. Literally, that was it. So this is the Fenty Cream Blush in Crush on Cupid. Then I have another cream blush from Bite. I reviewed or sort of did swatches of these on Instagram. Again, linked below so you can, you know, I can't do swatches of everything, so I'll link everything down below if you're looking for further information on anything. But these are the whipped uh, blushes from Bite in the shade Daycation, or sorry, the Daycation blushes in the shade Hibiscus Slush. Whoo, today. But um, these are interesting, but I'm still not fully sure. I have very, very um, strong feelings about this Rare Beauty highlighter and that I'm absolutely in love with it now. Uh, not that I didn't love it before, but I just wasn't, you know, blown away by Rare Beauty, but this was the one thing that I was like, this is absolutely a win. Also from NARS, they launched these kind of cream slash, what are they calling them, air matte blushes. So that one is in the shade Gas, which is just this great neutral rosy brown. And then new from Drunk Elephant, these are their O Blues, O Blows, O Blues, Rosy Drops uh, with Omega fatty, fatty Acids. And these are kind of a similar item to the De Bronzy, but I haven't really played with these yet. So I'm curious because De Bronzy is one of my favorite products. Okay, in this drawer, I've got a combination of blushes, bronzers, you know, just some random stuff. So <laughs> I have the Gucci Beauty bronzer, which I love, 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 can't stop using. And then I thought I would break out the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, a really great bronzer. Feels high-end, but available at the drugstore. From Burt's Bees, I have their Just Peachy Blush and the NYX Glow Blush. This is one of their sweet cheeks. They come in glow or matte. And I like this one. It's called Summer Breeze, and it's kind of a blush highlight hybrid. And to try and deviate, well, not to try and deviate, but I feel like I need to 
do a little bit different than the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. So this is the Brow Freeze from Anastasia that I'm wearing today. And I thought I would give this Quo Beauty um, Brow Defining Gel a go because it's clear and I love clear brow gels. I have the Pump Up the Volume Mascara from Quo, which I haven't tried, the Wonder Extension from Rimmel. Ilia Limitless Lash Primer and the Milani Lash Primer as well. Oh, sorry, that's not a lash primer, is it? No, sorry. The Ilia is a lash mascara, it says here, and then the Milani is a lash primer that I quite like. Okay, here we have the lip drawer, and the first swatch here is one of the Marcel Lux Gloss Naturals. These are new from Marcel. If you're in Canada, available at Shoppers Drug Mart and Walmart, Canadian brand. Uh, this one is in the shade Pink Nude, really great kind of nude gloss with great pigmentation. Then next, the perfect kind of peachy shade that I love to pair with ColourPop BFF3 Lip Liner, which is coming next. Uh, this is the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish, and this one is in the shade uh, Act Natural. It's a great peach. ColourPop BFF3, the lip liner I wear with just about everything. Uh, I love these Pixie by Petra lip, lip, uh, liquid lipsticks. They have great shades, great formula. They're phenomenal. This one is in the shade Prettiest Pink. It's super bright and beautiful. Uh, another shade that I kind of wear more as a lip liner than a lipstick. This is from Bite Beauty in Molasses. It's that shade there. And that was what I'm wearing today, actually. I'm wearing Molasses and the Revlon. These are new-ish from Bare Minerals. They're new glosses, and this one is in the shade Vision. I really like Bare Minerals glosses. That's this one here. It's like a bubblegummy pink, but not a ton of pigmentation to it. This is a great shade. These are Giorgio Armani um, Lip Magnets in 407. It's like this vibrant hot red almost. And then from NARS, these are quite interesting. They're like a lip balm lipstick sort of thing. They're the soft matte tipped tinted lip balms and that's this last one right here and that is in the shade Whiplash. Okay and down here is a little bit of overflow slash products that were too big. I already talked about the Laura Mercier. Uh, today I'm wearing the Nabla Cosmetics Skin Realist Tinted Balm and I'm actually reviewing it so stay tuned for that. Be one of my, one of my next videos. I also use this today for the first time. It's the Pacifica Stellar Glaze. It's kind of disappointed in it. I use some of the purple shades and I'm not not impressed so far, but it looked so cool. It looked like it had such potential. And then um, I'm wearing like nails that you glue on that I then painted. So right now I'm wearing this great new shade from Essie. I believe it's part of their summer collection. And I put it on and at first I was like, ah, I don't know. And now I'm like, I may only wear orange nails from here on in. Like they just look so good with, um, with gold. Uh, ow, it's hit my head with gold jewelry right on the corner. Good God. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. I love these kind of bluish uh, shades in just Maui or Periwinkle. I bought this from Essence the other day at Shoppers. I thought it was a kind of a nice pearlescent peachy shade. Uh, and I haven't tried their new nail polishes in the new bottles. So this is in the shade Ready For It. And then Revlon released these Ultra Snap polishes, which I quite like. And this is a shade I've worn before in Keep Cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this monthly makeup basket. Be sure to let me know what products appeal to you and what you want to hear more about. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!